Hi, this is Talon Jane. This is FTT 211 week four project. Uh, this is the final project for uh, the 211 class and the final video, uh, at least school based video for the muzzle loader build lab. Uh, for I may put out another video later of just firing this uh, particular firearm, but for the course, this is uh, and for the school, this is the last video. So this video has to do with uh, complete assembly. As you can see, I've already taken everything apart. So in a minute, I'll move the camera and we'll basically go through the entire process of putting this back together for the final time. So, all right, with that, thanks a lot and we'll get started. So let's go ahead and install the butt plate and the lock plate here. Or the, yeah, you'll see. Let's see if I can do this in camera. You can see I replaced all my screws with brass screws. Put on our lock. This is a lock plate. Okay. Let's go put in our lock. All right. This is held in with these two here. Now it's important to note that this piece right here, which is the retention piece for your ramrod it gets held in by this front spring as well. Okay, um, and I think it goes, I don't know, we'll see here. I have to trial and error that one a little bit here. Now it wants the sights. Okay, so. This is not something we've done before. We just finished gluing this barrel last week. So let's go ahead and install our sights. These have been sitting here since week one. Let's get the dust off of them. Okay, so full disclosure, this piece came out and I installed my sight on the wrong side until I looked. So I've since corrected it, put this on the right side. Um, so I have the front sight and the rear sight both installed. Um, just need to clean them and oil it and everything. So we're ready to put this back into the stock now. You sure about that? So, I have found that putting the back end in first and then kind of just letting it fall down in and then pushing everything into place that gives me the best results in getting the pins where they're supposed to be okay so next we have to put the barrel pins in place i've swapped my barrel pins for brass barrel pins so the first thing i do is make sure i have a clear path all the way through which looks like i do and we'll put our block underneath here and put our barrel pin in which side 
you know, I'm sitting here trying to follow the guidance that the school gives us, which is, you know, so that I can make sure I hit all of the points that I'm supposed to. And it's got me putting the barrel in before putting in these, which obviously you can't do. So when you're doing this, pay attention to your order of operations and make sure you put the pieces in that go in when they're supposed to go in. So, you don't have to take it back apart again, like I did. in the trigger guard. All right, it's another piece missing from the instructions. So all I did was I squished the spring down a little bit and it gave me a better retention on this where it holds in place but I can still pull it out so we're good to go there. Now let's put these back in for hopefully the final time. it we are completely back together all right we're all finished it is 100% together you can put that in uh, you can look at the bluing looks good uh, we'll do a functions check half cock full cock fire uh, put a light oil a light coat of gun oil over the whole thing um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, I don't know that I would ever build another one, but I enjoyed building this one. So, um, you know, if you're doing this project, I'd say don't necessarily follow everything the school gives you. Um, you know, if I'd have done what the school, just what the school told me, uh, I don't think I'd like the color of the stock or the barrel and uh, just changing it up a little bit, I ended up with something I'm really happy with. So um, putting it back together was a little bit more of a challenge than I anticipated. Uh, things to watch out for. I accidentally put the front sight post in where um, the tenon goes uh, just because the tenon had slid out. So that was one thing, uh, getting the spring for the um, ramrod uh, in the correct position. And then other than that, uh, everything else was pretty easy. By this point, you will have taken this thing apart and put it back together a dozen times. So, um, but yeah, hopefully that's the last time it comes apart except for cleaning. And hopefully I don't have to take it completely apart to clean it. So uh, with that being said, this was my FTT 211 week four project complete 
and you know again pay attention this course likes to change it up compared to the rest of the SDI courses and at the bottom of each one of the projects, they do a little written assignment. So this one has a written assignment where it's, did I find any steps in the progress particularly difficult? And how did I overcome those? I just talked about those. So now I have to write those down and submit them with this video. All right, with that being said, thanks a lot for watching and uh, pay attention and you know watch for the video where I take this out and shoot it. All right, thanks a lot, bye.